It's fantastic. In this video, I will go over the 10 lies the fanboys are constantly saying about solo leveling in MAL reviews, so they can fool people into watching a completely possible show and then brag about how popular it is, although very few actually like it. The first lies when they say the story is simple, it's not convoluted, you can shut off your brain and enjoy it as a simple power fantasy. It's a lie because it's not simple at all. If it was, it wouldn't be constantly interrupting the action scenes to throwing an info dump or to show what a minor character is doing on the other side of the city. There is a lot going on here than just mindless action. There is emotion. Simple stories do not constantly interrupt the plot to explain what is going on or hop around a dozen different characters at the same time. Thus, this is an obvious lie, and they subconsciously admit it when they tell you there is so much going on that you are constantly wondering what is happening. What is going on with all these dungeons? What is every character doing? What are the special powers of every weapon? And many more. It can't be both simple and complex, therefore they lie. It's so good. It just did fantastically. The second lie is that the pacing is perfect because it doesn't have any filler and it leaves enough room for character growth. All of those useless interruptions in the action just to show us an important character is doing nothing interesting are not damaging the pacing. And spending about five minutes on the main character changing entirely from a loser to a chad is surely enough room for character growth. Yo, yo, Solano cooking, man! The third lie is saying the plot makes sense because a setting that hasn't changed one bit after a decade of constant monster invasions makes sense. Oh, so good, man! Yo! The fourth lie is saying it has very well written character development because the protagonist changing entirely in one episode to the point his face looks completely different is good writing. It's definitely not rushed or anything. It's so good! It's so freaking good! The fifth lie is saying the main character doesn't instantly become the strongest, he grinds for it. That is something I already went over in a previous video. Grinding in a power fantasy is not a plus. People don't give a shit how much someone is training, they only want to see him doing cool stuff. Oh, it's so <laughs> good, man! The sixth lie is acting like training in a show where you can't get any stronger is satisfying. It's not rewarding when there is only one guy that can get stronger. Where is the challenge when only he can grind? There is none. He wins simply by being the only one who can do it. It's a power fantasy. It does it so well. The seventh lie is that it's the best power fantasy because it doesn't have waifus or a harem. How the shit does that make it better when it's in fact making it worse? One of the most basic things everyone expects to see in a power fantasy is for the main character to be a pussy slayer, to have every woman lying at his feet and to be constantly surrounded by the slave women he bought and who are therefore in love with him. How is not having that making it a worse power fantasy? It doesn't, therefore they lie. Unless, of course, they are incels who hate women. And even then they are still lying, since there are waifus in the series, and many roneries are already lusting over them. It's so good! Oh! The eighth lie is that the main character is not indecisive. He knows what he wants, he goes after it, and that makes him feel like a real person. Lies, he doesn't know what he wants because the video game system controls everything he does. He doesn't choose his quests, the system does. And he can't even refuse because there will be a severe penalty. For the same reason, he's not a real person, he's a robot who is following a program. Yo! 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 The ninth lie is presenting the main character as if he is a victim. All the unfair system mocked him and pushed him down, so he deserves to cheat and have his revenge. Revenge porns are a sick form of power fantasy, but they still count, so that is not a lie. The lie is that solo leveling is not revenge porn. Nobody mocked the main character, nobody bullied him, and nobody pushed him down. In the contrary, despite everyone knowing he has no skills as a hunter, they are all friendly with him and gladly accept him in their team when he wants to join. 
Not even the ones who exploit him don't do any of that shit. Let's talk a little bit deeper. And the tenth lie is making it seem like it's some subversive masterpiece that is unlike anything we've seen before. It is inspired by Nietzsche's timeless wisdom. Both fans and critics love it. It is the pinnacle of art and redefines the limits of the fantasy genre. All of that when it's just a generic power fantasy. They just want to trick you into watching it so they can brag about how popular it is. Don't fall for it. Oh, 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 oh.